All right, it don't seem like Savannah Marshall and Hannah Rankin are going to stop the bickering back and forth on social media, but that's okay because the two women will be getting into the ring in less than a month from now for the WBO middleweight title, something that will attract Clarissa Shields back to 160. She's looking for opponents and even better opponents with belts, even belts that she once had. <laughs> the one thing she keeps saying to Savannah Marshall is get a title, then we can talk. And it's already been thrown out there that Savannah Marshall and Clarissa Shields could very well be looking at a, a November, which I think is ridiculous if, if she's fighting October 17th, but a possible November or December date. So if Savannah Marshall makes quick work of Hannah Rankin, then she could very well be fighting Clarissa Shields before the year is out, which I'm going to be honest with you, I really do think she's going to beat Hannah Rankin. But Savannah Marshall, in my opinion, I don't think it's too many women you're going to put in the ring with her and they're going to come out of there with the win. Just to me, she's very well schooled, very well polished. I like her jab. I like her head movement. She doesn't waste a lot of movement. Um, she's just, you know, she has that fury technique. And I just, I don't see just anybody going in there beating her. You're going to have to beat her off of probably being more athletic and being skilled and polished, et cetera, et cetera. You're not going to, you're not going to have just one trick or maybe even two and beat her. The girl can do everything in a boxing ring. I, I've studied her. She can fight. So I think, I think even though Rankin has been in there with some of the best in the world, including Clarissa Shield herself, really that's mainly who I'm talking about. I think she's going to outdo Clarissa. I think she's going to probably, I think she's going to stop her. If it's a, if it's a, if it's a ten round fight, she might stop her, man. And that's saying a lot with the women's uh, game, but but that's what I'm trying to tell you. Savannah Marshall, she stops women. She don't just outbox them. She stops them. So I expect her to continue doing what she's been doing. I think she's, I'll say an eighth round stoppage, in my opinion. But I do think it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a nice showcase fight for Savannah Marshall because it's going to show the people that she does belong in that, up, that upper echelon with some of these top fighters. When you say the uh, the Katie Taylors, the Clarissa Shields, the Serranos, she believes her name belongs up there with them. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm starting to believe the same thing because I've seen a bunch of her fights. So I, I'm a believer. If you can't tell in my voice by now, I am a believer. But clearly that is not the case when it comes to Hannah Rankin because she believes that Savannah Marshall hasn't fought anybody and that not only has she not fought anybody, but that she's had advantages going into her fights. Number one, she believes that the fights she's had, the fighters have been on short, on short notices. Now that's true. That is true. Some of her fights have been on short notice. So, you know, that is a little problematic. That is a little problematic. And she also believes that, you know, that's, that's, you know, that, that's weight issues. Basically, you asking somebody to come in and make a certain weight or whatnot. So she believes not only has she not fought anybody, but she believes the people she has fought, the little bit of competition she's fought, she's had advantages because some of these people have been called in at the last minute. But like I said, that's stuff that she can't necessarily help if she's scheduled to fight this particular person and that fight goes through and the show must go on and you know how that go. But me personally, like I said, I believe Savannah Marshall is the real deal, but 
that ain't no that ain't no walking apart. We will have to see if she is a faker or, or a phony, a one trick pony. Then Hannah Rankin will expose her. And that's pretty much all I got. This hair bust and boxes on fight doctor. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section and let me know if you think that Savannah Marshall would just run through Hannah Rankin and become her well, well win her first champ, uh, championship because they will be fighting for the WBO title. By the way, if I forgot to mention that. They will be fighting for that. Or do you think Savannah, uh, Hannah Rankin will expose Savannah Marshall for basically being a fraud and living off of I beat Clarissa Shields? And that's pretty much all I got this hair busting boxes on. Fight Dr. I am out.